Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be explaining mathematics, paper 2, code 0580, paper 23, May June 2023. Let's start with the first question. Question 1 states, complete the statement, part A. Digra the diagram has a rotational symmetry of order. So, rotational symmetry of order means how many times this object can be rotated and the object will be in the same position so we if we rotate this one time it will these squares will be coming in this angle so it is not same as the original object is shown in the pro, in the picture so if we again rotate it 90 degrees then this box will come on the right, right top corner and the right top corner will be in the left bottom corner so this is same so this will be counted as one rotational symmetry then again if we rotate this 90 degrees it will be coming like this in a slanting line 90 degrees perpendicular so this is not the same as the original picture then if we again rotate this then it will be in this symmetry so the rotation symmetry of the diagram is 2 so the answer will be 2 Part B states on the diagram draw all the lines of symmetry. So this means that if we cut this object in equal parts, it should match overlap with the opposite side. So the first one will be like this. The second one will be like this. So this is the two lines of symmetry. Part 2 states the firm last the film lasts for 2 hours and 50 minutes the film ends at 23:05 find the time the film starts so this means that the film ends at 23:05 and the film is for 2 hours and 50 minutes and the film we have to find the starting time when the film was started so we will write 23 Zero 05 minus 2 hours and 50 minutes. So, what we will do is 2305 minus 2, which will be 2105 minus 50 minutes. So, this will be 2105 minus 50. So, this will be 21 and here. 50 because of 50 we have subtracted all already 5 so it will be 45 so 21 minus 45 will be 20 or 50 so the time the film starts is 20 50 part 3 states find the total surface area of the cuboid so to calculate the total surface area of the cuboid, the surface area formula is SA is equal to 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Now what we will do is input the values. So the length is 8L, 3 is the width and 4 5 is the height. So what we will do is input these values. So 2 times 8 times width 3 plus 2 times 8 times 5 which is the height plus 2 times 3 times 5. So 2, 8, 16. 16 times 3 is 54. No, not 6. 2 8s are 16. 16 and 16 times 3 is 40. Yes, sorry. 48 plus 2 8s are 16. 16 times 5 is 80. Plus 2 times 3 is 5. 5 5 is 25. So 48 plus 80 plus 25. By using the calculator, this will be. Hundred and. 53 so 153 not 53 58 centimeter 
cube. So, so the answer will be 158 centimeter cube. So this is the final answer. So 158 centimeter cubed. Here centimeter square. Here it is already centimeter square written. So here instead of writing centimeter square here, we will just write 158 and centimeter square is already written. Question 4 states v is equal to u minus 9.8 t find the value of v when u is 4 and t is 7 so what we will do is we will write v is equal to u which is 4 minus 9.8 multiply by minus 7 so by doing this we will multiply 9, 7 by 9.8 which is 4 minus minus is plus 7 eights are 7 eights are 56 so here is 56 and 5 7 nines are 63 63 plus 5 is 63 plus 5 is 68 so 68 point 6 plus 4 which will be 72.6 so the value of v is 72.6 question 5 states simplify d to the power of 8 divided by d to the power of 2 so when there is a division so what we will do we will write d to the power of 8 minus d to the power of 2 we have both above we have 8 and 2 so 8 minus 2 will be 6 so d to the power of 6 will be the final answer so what we will do is write d to the power of 6 question 6 states at the end of the day a shopkeeper has 12 tins of food, cat food left this is 3 over 30 of the number of tins he had at the beginning of the day regularly the number of tins he had at the beginning of the day so at the beginning of at the end of the day he had 3 out of 13 of the number of tins he had so we will write 12 divided by x is equal to 3 over 13 wait one second so what we will do is write sorry my bad here we will write 12 divided by x is equal to 3 over 13 so we will multiply x here and cancel out and multiply x here so we will write over here 12 is equal to x multiplied by 3 divided by 13 then we will multiply 12 by 13 divided by 3 because we moved 3 below 3 1s are 3 3 4s are 12 4 times 13 is 52 so 52 is the number of tens that he had at the start of the day so 52 so 52 will be the final answer for question 6 question 7 states a spinner has five sides each side is painted red blue green yellow or orange the table shows some of the probabilities of a spinner landing on each color so this is the probabilities of each color complete a table so if we have 0 0.3 on red 0 0.16 at blue 0 0.18 on green and 0 0.25 on yellow so the well probability for orange will be we will write 1 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.16 minus 0 0.18 minus 0 0.25 and the value is 0 0.11 so the probability for orange is 0 0.11 that spins the spinner once find the probability that the spinner lands on red or blue so if we have the probability of 2 which is red and blue so what we will do is we will add the probabilities of red and blue together so we have 0 0.3 plus 0 0.11 
0.416 which is 0.46 so 0.46 will be the final answer now for question number 8 describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A and into triangle B so if you can see from here if we just start from the point 0 0 here the uh, the point moves 1 to the right and 2 upward and if it is rotating 90 degrees then it will move 1 down and 2 times right so it's coming on the exact point if you want to confirm it you can do it for this point also so 1 right and 5 up if we move it 90 degrees then 1 down and 5 right exactly the same one so single transformation and the point is 3 so first is which type of transformation it is so what we will write is what type it is rotation then second type or uh, point that we have to mention is from here it is rotated so it is rotation rotation from center which is zero zero and how much by how much degrees it is rotated so we will write 90 degrees clockwise so 90 degrees clockwise so we will state rotation from center 0 0 by if you want to write by by 90 degrees so this is how you will answer the question Question 9 states the distance time graph shows information about Kai's journey from home to office. So this is the office. It is at 65 kilometers and the home is at 0 kilometers. Calculate the average speed in kilometers per hour for Kai's journey from home to office. So the average speed is calculated as we will write total kilometer is so we will write speed is equal to distance divided by time so distance is 65 and time is 2 hours so 2 so 65 divided by 2 is 32 and a half kilometers per hour so the average speed is 32 sorry 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 so the average speed is 32.5 kilometers per hour now for part b when kai arrives at office he finds his meeting is cancelled he immediately returns home at a constant speed of 50 kilometers per hour complete a distance time graph so if the distance total distance of the office is 65 kilometers and he travels at average speed of constant speed not average constant speed of 50 kilometers per hour so how much time will it take so 65 divided by 50 that is 1.3 hours 1 hour and 0.3 hours so which will be 1 hour and we will multiply 0.3 by 60 which is 18 minutes so so from 12 it will be till 13 and 13 plus 18 so 15 16 17 18 20 20 21 24 27 so it will be here so we'll put a point over here and it will be a constant line from here till here so we will draw a line like this so this will be a straight line from the office to the home. So this is how we will solve the part B of question 9. Question 10 states, without using a calculator work out 5 by 11 over 12 plus 2 by 1 over 4. So what we will do is, we will first expand the mixed fraction into whole fraction which will be 12 here 12 times 5 is 60 60 plus 11 is 71 plus 4 2s are 8 8 plus 1 is 9 
now we will make the denominator same so 9 by 2 9 by 3 sorry and 9 4 by 3 and 9 by 3 so this will be 71 plus 9 3 is a 27 27 divided by 12 so 71 plus 27 will be 91 91 plus 7 is 98 divided by 12 so we will simplify it divided by 6 not 6 by 2 first and this by 2 which will be 2 divided by 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 98 divided by 2 is 49 now we will what we will do is write 49 in mixed fraction because this cannot be simplified further so we will write 6 multiplied by 8 and 1 over so the answer will be 8 by 1 over 6 so 8 by 1 over 6 will be the final answer good question 11 states e is a to y a b e g l m o r t y p is a b e g l r and q is e g m o r t y so the common between p and q is e and g and r so what we'll do we will write e g and r in the middle and then a b and l will be in in the p circle a b b and l and on q it will be m o t y m o t y like this and then a b e g l r is a over here in p and e e g m o t y so like this so there's nothing in the outside of p and q circle so this is how we will solve part a part b states complete a well when diagram so a excluded and b so ex excluding a we will only share the part of b so we will just share this part of the circle so this is how we will solve part b questions 12 states the position vector of a is 5 over 3 and b to a is 4 to 8 so show o to b 5.1 correct to one decimal place so now if we have the value of a which is right now we will just point over here 5 by 3 5 is x and 3 is y and b to a is 4 by 8 so b to a so if we move from b to a it is 4 to the right and 8 to the up so what we will do 5 minus 4 will be 1 so b point will be 1 and 8 will be detected from 3 so it will be minus 5 so the value or the vector position is for b is 1 to minus 5 now show o to b so o to b is 5.1 so what we will do is we have to write o to b o will be 0 so we will write o to b will be the length so like this x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 so what we will do is we will write here like this b is 1 and minus 5 so what we will do is we will make a vector like this a line and here is 0 which is o center and 1 and minus 5 like this so the length will be like this and like this so x2 will be this point which is 1 minus 0 plus 
y2 which is 0 and here it is minus 5 so minus 5 minus 0 like this square so 1 square plus 5 square and square root like this so 5 1 square plus 5 square will be 26 square root so 26 square root will be approximately 5.1 so 5.1 is same as OB over here so the method is correct and this is how we will do in order to calculate the value of OB and basically if you have if you have a question regarding how we calculated the value of O, O is the center point of the graph from where the point started which is 0 and 0. So the O point will be 0 and 0. So this is how we will do question 12. Now for question 30, what we will do is calculate 42 square root plus 3 to the power of 0 4. So using the calculator the answer will be 8.03 so 8.03 will be the final answer question 40 states write 0 0.581 as fraction so over here if you can see only 8 and 1 have decimal or dot over them above them dots so only 8 and 1 is recurring numbers meaning it will be repeated infinitely so what we will do is first we will multiply 0 0.58 by 10 we will write time x is equal to 5.81 and then for another number we will write 1000 x is equal to 581.81 so we will just switch this and write 1000 x is equal to 581.81 and here 10x is equal to sorry 5.81 so 81 minus 81 is 0 cancel and 581 minus 5 will be 576.0 is equal to 1000 minus 10 is 990x So now we will make x as a separate num separate digit or separate letter and write here on the right side x is equal to 576 divided by 990. If we simplify this, this will be using calculator it will be 32 divided by 55. So the fraction for 14 or the answer for question 14 is 32 divided by 55 32 divided by 55 so this will be the final answer question 15 states yeah. so question 15 states the number of trees in a forest is decreasing exponentially at a rate of 1.75 percent per year 11 years ago there were 980 trees Calculate the number of trees in the forest now. Give your answer correct to the nearest integer. So, the number of trees in the forest is decreasing 1.75% per year. So, what we will do is we will use the formula the number of trees reducing per year, the rate formula, which is, if we just zoom in, that is number of trees is equal to number of trees as starting which is 980 multiply by 1 minus the rate so 1.75 is reducing every year so the remaining value will be 98.25 so 1.75 divided by 100 to the power of 11 years so by using the calculator over here what we will do is yeah. so 980 brackets open minus 1 point minus 1.75 divided by 100 
to the power of 11 so the answer is 807 number of trees after 11 years so the number of trees after 11 years is 807 so 807 will be the final answer for question 16 question 16 states the volume of cylinder is 1970 and the height of the cylinder is 18 point 12.8 cm calculate the radius of the cylinder so we will use the formula of volume which is v is equal to pi r pi r squared h and so we have to calculate the radius so we will do we will move r squared to the left and right v divided by pi h so volume is 1970 divided by pi times 12.8 then we will move the square to the square root which will be square root of 1970 divided by pi times 12.8 and using the calculator the value will be here 1970 divided by pi here, pi times 12.8 that is like this so square root of this will be 7 exactly if we use two significant figures it will also be 7 and so 7 centimeter will be the length of the radius so question 17 states rearrange the formula to make the m the subject so first what we will do is move m to the left side and we will write m times r is equal to 2m minus k then we will expand this and write m r is equal to 2m minus k 2k then we will move 2m to the left side and write which is m r is equal to m r minus 2m is equal to minus 2k so we will move m on the outwards and write m to the brackets r minus 2 is equal to minus 2k so this will be m is equal to minus 2k divided by r minus 2 so this will be the answer which is minus 2k divided by r minus 2 so this will be the final answer minus 2k divided by r minus 2 so this is how we will solve question 17 so for question 18 the, it states y is inversely proportional to the cube root of x plus 5 so inversely proportional means that we will write the equation or the formula as y is equal to k divided by x plus 5 cube root not cube cube root so like this k is constant so k will be on top and cube root of x plus 5 will be at the bottom or as a denominator then we will input the value and to calculate the value of k so k is equal to y multiplied by cube root of x plus 5 so we will write k is equal to value of y is 12 plus cube root of 3 plus 5 is 8 so 12 plus 3 plus 5 is 8 and cube root, cube root of 8 is so 12 plus 2 is 40 so the value of k is 40 now we have to calculate the value of y with when the x value is 22 so y is equal to k which is 14 divided by cube root of 22 plus 5 
so which will be 14 divided by cube root of 27 so 14 divided by cube root of 27 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 so 3 so what we will do is we will move the values so over here in k it was not here it was multiplied by mistake i put plus so 2 times 12 is 24 so 24 divided by 3 will be 8 so the value of y is 8 sorry for this confusion but the value of y will be 8 so this is how we will calculate the value of question 18 which is 8 question 18 states solve the equation x square plus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0 you must show all your working and keep your answers correct to two decimal places so what we will do is we will write the value of x square plus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0 as quadratic equation formula which is a x a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 so the value of a is 1 then for b it is 5 and for c it is minus 7 minus 7 so you will use the formula which is x is equal to b squared plus minus here minus b plus minus square root of here we will write b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a so first we will input the values of letter number in letters so minus b which is minus 5 plus square root of 5 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 7 divided by 2 times 1 so the value will be if you use the calculator over here it will be minus 5 square root plus square root of 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 7 that will be this divided by 2 so the answer will be 1.14 so the answer will be 1.14 and then if we convert plus into minus the answer will be it will be minus 6.14 so the answer will be minus 6.14 so 1 will be first value of x will be 1.14 and second will be minus 6.14 so this is how we will solve question 19 question 20 states find the value of f brackets open x plus 2 so x plus 2 is the value of x so we will write y is equal to 6x sorry minus 7 so this will be 6 x plus 2 minus 7 we expand this 6x plus 12 minus 7 that is 6x plus 5 so 6x plus 5 will be the final answer for part a then for part b if it is written f inverse of x meaning that f y and x value will be switched so instead of writing y is equal to 6x minus 7 we will write x is equal to 6y minus 7 so we will make the y the main 
no main letter so x plus 7 is equal to 6y then y is equal to x plus 7 divided by 6 so this will be the f inverse value for the equation of f inverse x plus 7 divided by 6 part c states find x when g x is equal to f22 so we will first write the value of equation of g x which is x inverse x to the power of minus 3 which is cube root is equal to f22 so 6 multiplied by 22 minus 7 so this will be 6 times 22 will be 132 minus 7 x to the power of minus 6 so 132 minus 7 will be 125 x minus 3 which will be cube root so x is equal to 125 so x is equal to cube root minus 3 125 and by inputting it into the calculator it will be 0 0.2 so the value of x will be 0 0.2 so we write 0 0.2 as the final answer for part c question 21 states 2x square plus 5x minus 12 divided by 4x square minus 9 we have to simplify this so what we will do is we will write it top or the numerator in the quadratic equation so we will write here we have 2x square we will plus 5x minus 12 into square like this so here 12 so and here 2x square so we will write 2x here and x here then for the right side we will write 3 and here we will write 2 we will write 2 and 3 here or we can write 5 and 1 it depends or we can write here 3 and here we can write 2 it depends so what we will do is we will write here 6 and we will write here 2 And then here we have 2x square and for 5x it should be total or we can write 2 and 2 and 3 or 6 and 5 and it varies so we will write like this and that is which is like this so we will write 4 and 3 so 4 3 is a 12 and 2 2 is a 4 or we can write 4 here and 3 here yeah like this 3 here and 4 here which will be 12 and then 4 times 2 is 8x and here we have 3x so 8x minus 3x will be 5x and 3 will be negative so we will write 2x minus 3 and x plus 4 like this divided by 4x square minus 9 so we will exclude or we will write this into a square which is 2x sorry 2x minus 3 and here we will write 2x square plus 3 like this so if we have 2x multiplied by plus 3 which will be 6x in plus and then we will multiply minus 3 by 2x which will be in minus 6x so it will be cancelled out so we have 2x square 2x minus 3 into x3 minus balanced and we are left with x plus 4 divided by 2x plus 3 so this will be the final answer so we will write x plus 4 divided by 2x plus 3. Then question 22 states there are first four terms of a sequence 
here 2.756, 11.25, 20. The n term of the sequence is 4n, 1 of 4n squared plus e n squared plus b n. Calculate the value of a plus the n, the value of b. So, if we use the first sequence, which is the first one, that is for first, we have 2.75 is equal to 1 square cube is. 1 and 0 0.25 plus 1 squared is a plus b and for second is 6 is equal to here we will be for second 2 cube is 8 8 to the 4 is 2 plus 2 squared is 4a and 2b so what we will do is rearrange this and write a plus b is equal to 2.5 and 4a plus 2b is equal to you will write 6 minus 2 is 4 now we will use the simultaneous equation and make the value of b same so multiply by 2 that will be 2a plus 2b is equal to 5 4a plus 2b is equal to 4. So plus plus will be minus. So like this 2b minus 2b will be 0. And 5 minus 4 is 1. And 2 minus 4 is minus 2a is minus 2a is equal to 1 because 0 is cancelled out. So a is equal to minus 1 over 2. And now we have to calculate the value of b. So we have a plus 5 is a plus b. This equation is equal to 2.5. The value of a is minus 0 0.5 plus b is equal to 2.5. So minus will be moved there. So b is equal to 2.5 plus 0 0.5 which will be 3. So the value of b is 3. So a is minus 1 over 2, sorry, 1 over 2 and b value is 3. So this is how we will calculate the equation using simultaneous equation. This type or this method is simultaneous equation. Question 23 states a train travels at between two stations. The distance between the station is 220 kilometers. The speed of the train is 125 km per hour, nearest to 5 km per hour. Now calculate the upper bound for the time the journey takes. So for the upper bound, we have to calculate the upper bound of the time, which is time is equal to which is time is equal to speed and time. Which wait one second like this d is equal to speed times time so we have to calculate the time so distance divided by speed so the distance should be in upper bond and the speed should be in lower bond so the distance is 220 nearest kilometer so we will write the distance as 2 to 1 divided by the speed which is by 5 km per hour so we will write instead of 125 we will write 120 so by using the calculator we will write 2 to 1 divided by 120 that is 1.84 so what we will do is we will write 1.84 hours so one will be the one hour and 84 0 0.84 will be converted into minutes and that is 0 0.84 multiplied by 60 which is 48 minutes so we will write one hour and 48 minutes so this is how we will calculate the question 23 the upper bound for the time it takes for the journey so upper bound is equal to distance divided by speed and upper bond will be used in distance and lower bond will be used in speed 
in order to calculate the upper bond. But if you have to calculate the lower bond, you will use lower bond in distance and upper bond in speed in order to calculate the lower bond. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends and turn on post notification so you will receive news about the new videos that will be uploaded on this channel. See you in the next video. Bye.